<laughs> Wilkins exposed down this right hand side. Ball played across to Howell, and there's Miles at the far post, cuts inside. He's got Pat up against Powell, trying to get room for the shot, but he's found Howell and a shot just skimming past that far post. Good play by Bogner Regis. Good build up, and Howell just unlucky with the shot after stretching for that challenge. Riley into Powell. Moore, and that's released Riley. Good play by Hampton. Chance for Riley to get the ball across. But he's closed down well by Ackroyd. Good defending by Ackroyd. Just recovered from that knock. And important that he got the challenge in there. Barry Moore to plant this in there. Darren Powell coming forward and Steve Cheshire making a run. And that's aimed for Cheshire. To the far post, and it's Lewis with a header at the far post. Flick on at the near, found Lewis in space, and he made no mistake. And some instructions coming through from uh, the bench. Two goals to one up. I think Hampton will settle for that. There's 15 minutes to go. And that's a cue for Jennings to come on. A chance to knock it out wide. Rutherford, Wilkins keeps it on. Again, Cheshire making that challenge. It comes through to Bullen. Miles it was, couldn't control it. And there goes the final whistle. And Hampton have come down to Bogler and gone away with the three points by two goals to one. Great battling performance after they went 1-0 up. Equaliser coming through from Bogner, who were at the time playing the better football. But it's 2-1 uh, to you. Hampton. Uh, the match here has finished 2-1 to Hampton. So from the production team of Les Rance, David Reese, and Glenn Mitchell, Cable 17 Sport, goodbye. Hello there. <laughs> that look all right? And so Hampton have travelled down to the south coast, got a 2-1 win at Bogner Regis, which is going to do their promotion chances no harm at all. This is Glenn Mitchell for Cable 17 Sport. We were in the wars a little bit today, uh, and last week you got concussed. Yeah, I was out three times last week. The third one, a keeper punched me, so uh, I'd come off as in the wars, and now I think it's first minute today. I've gone up to Ender and uh, to the fella Miles, and he's just clattered me, so uh, the bub is coming out, but we battle on. You did battle on, and then in the second half you got that goal. Talk us through the goal. Yeah, I was just—I think I was—I was backtracking for the six, and uh, Steve Fair, he was cheating most of the game. He wasn't coming coming back to me when I was going forward, and then the ball broke on the left. I think Grady went down, and it comes to Moro, and uh, I just come across the box. The keeper spilled it, and uh, I just tapped it in, and, uh, and then when we set up, I pulled my hamstring, so I had to come off again. <laughs> so. Okay, and Mark, 200th appearance, it's great to celebrate it with a win. Yeah, it was a great win, yeah, the boys, they battled really well out there, you know, difficult conditions, windy, but like, I think we just about deserved it, I'm right on the strength of it, really, you know. Talk us through that, uh, in that first half you did a diving header, I've never seen a goalkeeper do a diving header like that, it's yeah, like something like Hawita. Well, it's a back pass and I just, I wasn't sure what to do, so I just dived and headed it and luckily I just got away with it. And what about their goal, what do you think of that? Well, it was a bit of slack marking really, the guy was free at the back post, no one was picking and then you got the crowd going because uh, they thought you'd come out of your area to uh, collect a ball. Yeah, I probably had by about half a yard, I think, to be honest with you. But uh, got away with that one, which was quite handy. But important that you did get a win today. Uh, and uh, also, it's a one and one all. Bogner looked a little bit dangerous. They were playing some good material for football, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, they were a good side. I mean, on their day, they're probably the best side in the league if you let them play. They've got a nice pitch here. I mean, there's probably only three nice pitches in the league, Uxbridge, Aldershot and, and Bogner. Uh, and they were a good football side, to be fair, and it was quite fortunate because I think uh, two of their best players, the boy Birmingham and, and Thomas, I think his name is, midfield players who stroke it about, they were missing today, which was good good news for us. But uh, yeah, I think they're just um, maybe they're away, when they're away, they drop a few points. But uh, yeah, for us, we're delighted with the three. I think we'd have settled for a one if you'd have asked Chip before the game. But uh, three points keep us up there, you know, and we're going for promotion. Well, in the table, you've had a lot of draws this season, and that's maybe what's letting you down, why you're not actually top of the table. So important that you did come away with the three today. 
Yeah, I think so. I think we've um, we've conceded a lot. Of, we've, we've been winning, and then we've uh, we're cutting into goals, conceded a lot of sloppy goals. So I think that's where a lot of the draws have, have obviously come from. But uh, yeah, three points. You know, we're delighted with that. And uh, as long as we're not losing, you know, we're getting points on the board. I think we've got quite a few six home games to go, and we're you know pretty formidable at home. So if we win those and you know don't lose, I think that'll take us up. No, an eventful journey on the way back home. Yeah, I think we'll have a few beers and a skylark, and the chaps have a laugh, so it should be quite good, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Chick, what did you make of that first half? Uh, we played quite well, but uh, we gave the ball away too much. In, in, in the desperate areas around the last third, we gave it away far too much. That resulted in them coming forward and putting us under a bit of pressure. I know you were trying to get a message across about their number time, number t number ten, and uh, Harvey dropping back to marking. Yeah, we had a situation where the, the fullback was getting too much space on the right hand side, on their right, and what we needed to do was just to, for him to sit in there, just so he could cut down his space to stop him getting forward. Uh, it took a while to get the message across, but once it got across, uh, we, we snuffed it out. Yeah. And at half time, what did you say to the lads? Well, we, we had a bit of a go at them at half time because we, we kept giving the ball away. And we knew it was going to be more difficult in the second half because we were against the wind. So um, what we did, we, we said we've got to keep hold of the ball for longer periods and frustrate them and so that the wide men could get into the game more and uh, stop them coming at us, which they knew, we knew they would do the second half. And then you were rewarded with an early goal in that second half, but that seemed to really fire up Bognan. They had their best period in the game. Yes, it did. I thought uh, the, the goal that we got, the, f the first goal, was a rather fortunate at the time. It wasn't against the run of play, but it was in a situation where they were attacking. But it was what we planned for away from home, is to hit them on the break, which we did. Uh, they got back into it, really fired them up, as you say, and we had to defend quite well. Mark Russell had to pick it out a few times, which he did. Uh, and then they got back into it, which was a bad goal from our point of view defensively, but any goal you concede is a bad goal. But uh, we come back again with a super set piece from the corner and um, we worked on that in training and it's, we got our reward. So w at one all, were you happy to like come away from here with a point or were you urging the lads to push forward for that goal? Uh, before the game, a point was a good point here. Uh, at half time it was still a good point because we had the, the wind against us and the rain. But uh, when we got the second goal, obviously, we, we had to hang on, and we, and we did. I thought we should have hung on more to the first goal than we did. And Mark Russell, he was celebrating his 200th performance for Hampton. Can you say a few words about him? Well, I can't say enough about Mark. I just can't say enough about him. He picks everything out of the air, and he's, well, he's got to be the best keeper in the league. He, he's kept us where we are today in the league. Superb keeper. And the other teams are going in that promotion uh, struggle, all the shot, Leatherhead, Grace, they've all won today, so important that you did get a victory. It's even more important that we won today if those all won, because now we're in second spot, everyone's there, like Bogner today, they want to knock us off there, whatever position they are in the league. And the fact that the others all won means that we're still status quo and we're still in the same position. And what sort of journey home are we in store for? I think there might be a few beers going tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not only tonight, but for the end of the season as well. Will Craig Riley be joining us? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we'll won't do that. <laughs> okay. No, thanks okay. a lot, Chick. Okay. Where'd you go, Chick? Are you going